From the boulevard to the hills, this is the 2024 Oscar predictions on this special edition of Tacos and Tequila. Welcome to another epic Tacos and Tequila day. I'm Efron Smith, this is Robert Morton, and that would be David Berg. You may be wondering why we brought you to the Hollywood Hills. Well, Ron and I, we know quite a bit about real estate, but Morty, he had another life before he was a real estate agent. I worked on two Academy Award broadcasts right down the street here, about a quarter of a mile, the Dolby Theater. One year I was a consultant with David Letterman when he was the host, and another year I executive produced the red carpet arrivals. The gold statuettes that you see on the set, their color is called Morty Gold because I insisted that they be painted, and then on it was called Morty Gold. I have a little admission to tell you, I don't think I've seen a single movie uh, on the Academy Awards. Uh, do you think I'm qualified for this position? I think you're probably as qualified as most voters for the I awards. think it makes you more qualified, David, oh. that way, because it's unbiased. Absolutely. It's all from the heart. Our first category, actor in a leading role. The nominees, Bradley Cooper for Maestro, Coleman Domingo for Rustin, Paul Giamatti for The Holdovers, Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer, and Jeffrey Wright for American Fiction. Bradley Cooper's nose should win an Oscar. I think the winner's gonna be Killian Murphy. Oh, Paul Giamatti. He's great. Got it all the way. Dave, what's, what's your favorite Paul Giamatti moment? Paul Giamatti moment? Uh, don't have one. Okay. My favorite Paul Giamatti <laughs> moment, it would have to be every episode he was in in Billions. That's true. Wasn't he in The Princess Bride? Inconceivable. <laughs> who, who was that actor? Who was the inconceivable actor? He looks Mandy kinda, Patinkin. Yeah, he looks, he looks like Paul oh, Giamatti. Yeah. Don't yeah. they kind of look alike? Oh no. yeah, not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Our next category, actress in a leading role. Annette Bening in Nyad. Uh, Lily Gladstone in Killers of the Flower Move. Move? Move. I'm always thinking about real estate. Sandra Hewler, Anatomy of a Fall. Carrie Mulligan, Maestro. Maestro. Ma not Mastro's. Maestro, no, Mastro's is Mastro's is good for a steak. <laughs> all right, well. Emma Stone and Poor Things. My prediction, Carrie Mulligan in Maestro. Interesting choice, Dave, but not the actual winner. The actual winner this year will be Emma Stone for Poor Things. She is fantastic. She commits like nobody I've ever seen. She makes the greatest choices in movies. I adore Emma Stone. Wow. I'll, I'll go with Emma Stone. I like the name and she looks good. Next category, actor in a supporting role. We've got Sterling K. Brown, American Fiction, Robert De Niro, Killers of the Flower Moon, Robert Downey Jr., Oppenheim, Murr, Ryan Gosling, Barbie, and then Mark Ruffalo, Poor Things. What say you, Morty? Robert Downey Jr., without question, long overdue for an Academy Award for a middle-aged Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> what is middle-aged these days? Anything uh, between 35 and 50. Okay. Wow, I would have I would have pushed that up a little, Morty. Anywhere between 40 and 60. Wow, I would have pushed that up a little, Morty. <laughs> Anywhere between 60 and 90. Nailed it. Who do you got, Ron? Uh, I got Mark Ruffalo. Ryan Reynolds is a great actor. I like him. Yeah. But I think we're talking about Ryan Gosling. Yeah, that's okay. true. Our next category, actress in a supporting role. Emily Blunt for Oppenheimer. Danielle Brooks, The Color Purple, America Ferreira for Barbie, Jodie Foster for Nyad, and Divine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. Divine Joy Randolph is beyond doubt the winner of this category. I'm Emily, in full agreement with you, Morty. You should be. Oh, Emily Blunt, Emily Blunt. She didn't win for Edge of Tomorrow, so she's got to win on this one. Was she nominated for Edge of Tomorrow? She wasn't, but she and Tom Cruise rocked it. I, I just gotta leave it at that. The moment you've all been waiting for. The final category is Best Picture. American Fiction, Maestro, Anatomy of a Fall, Oppenheimer, Barbie, Past Lives, The Holdovers, Poor Things, Killer of the Flower Moon, and one of my sentimental favorites, The Zone of Interest. Other than one movie, they're all very deserving of an Oscar. And I think the award will go to Oppenheimer. It's an epic film. 
it's condensed from a book this size, it'll take home the Morty Gold. Absolutely. <laughs> I hear great. <laughs> <laughs> I heard great things about all these films. I gotta go. I gotta go with Barbie. Barbie's a good I'm movie. I'm telling you, I think it's. I, I think it's. Uh, I think it's gonna win. It's a good movie. You know what the best part about uh, Barbie was? What? Is that I heard when they were looking for the model Ken doll that Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Gosling? Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Who dyed Reynolds. his hair just like Ron. Have oh. you ever seen Real Estate Barbie before? No. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> yeah. Real Estate Ken. Uh, middle yeah. Age. Yeah. Ken. Middle Age Real, Real Estate, Estate Barbie. Ken. Real Estate Ken. Yeah. Again, I'm David Berg, Robert Morton, and the newly dubbed Real Estate Ken. And we just greatly appreciate you tuning in. If you want to tune into the Oscars, they air tomorrow night on ABC. 4 p.m. Pacific time, an hour earlier, watch it. And for more goodness, follow us on tacosandtequila.com. And as always, stay thirsty.